Today's adventure is going to take us down to Fort Myers, Florida. Where we were doing down there, we were looking for gators. <laughs> we drove all the way through Florida, all the way down there, all the way down to Fort Myers, and we never seen a gator anywhere. We stopped, we looked on the side of the road, all kinds of places, couldn't find them. So come along with the adventure today, and we're going to show you how you can see gators for free. Out in the wild, just laying there soaking up the sun. So come along, join us. Let's go. Today, we are at TT's Tiki Bar. Let's go check it out. Couldn't resist the stop along the Gulf Coast in Port Charlotte. A chance to watch the waves, catch some rays, and enjoy a refreshing drink. Cheers! Tasty. I know you, I told you we were going to go ahead and explore and look for alligators. We just had to stop and get a drink at this great little bar right along the Gulf. It was such a quaint little place, had some great drinks, some good atmosphere. We were just there for a little while, just enough to have a drink. We had to check out the golf. They had some great seating out here for you to check it out. It was a sunny day. You couldn't have asked for a better day to be sitting out here on the beach. But yet, we couldn't hang around because we're on a mission to find gators. Today we're at Alligator Creek Preserve. Going to check out the alligators and all the wildlife that is here. So come along with us, join us, and see what we find. To enter into the Gator Preserve, there was no charge for this. Uh, they didn't have a lot of information. Being that we were there during the week, the visitor center was closed. We were able to talk to one of the rangers that were there. This is basically a non for profit organization. They're rescuing gators. We kind of went through the woods here, we went through the swamp area, we crossed over a couple of bridges but we didn't see a whole lot there. Had a lot of little ponds, a lot of little swampy areas, a lot of brush. Kind of went in there, kind of check it out to see if we could find anything. Didn't see anything moving at all. Had one other unique thing here that I didn't videotape. They had an area for the watching the birds. It was in a blind area. It was kind of disguised. You could look out, uh, kind of stood there a few minutes, didn't see anything but that squirrel. We couldn't get a good shot of him, so we didn't put him on the video. All right, after like a mile walk, it took us about an hour to do because we had to stop and rest. Uh, We're getting old. <laughs> so alligators, zero. Other All animals, eagles, yeah. zero. <laughs> what did we see? We seen a squirrel. That's it. That it? <laughs> no turtles, no nothing. I don't know where they're at. There's a board behind us that says all these different animals that people have seen. I don't know where they're at, but they sure in the heck ain't here. Well, they didn't come out for us anyway. Hey, we're at Smuggler's Cove Golf Adventures. Miniature golf. Yeah, I'm not a big golfer. <laughs> we're going to check it out and they said there might be some alligators. So let's go see if we can find a gator. I mean, <laughs> so which way do we got to go to play golf? We're going that way. I lost my other arm by the alligator. You ate it. <laughs> Let's play ball. We ended up going to a miniature golf course, which is right across from our campground that had stated that they had alligators. So we thought, you know, if nothing else, we could play a round of miniature golf, we could check it out and see at least we could see some alligators, at least in a pen versus we haven't seen any at all yet. I beat him by one point. <laughs> and we're feeding the alligators. Yep, it was pretty cool. You have to watch them. They come up and nab it. So they gave you some little bamboo fishing poles. You put a little bait on the end of it, you kind of hang it over the side, and you see what's going on. So once we kind of put the string over the top, here they came. They would jump up and grab for it. A couple of them would grab a hold, and they wouldn't let go of the rope. So we had to pull and pull, and 
Uh, I don't think their little hooks that they had, which were actually paper clips, was the greatest thing for uh, trying to feed the alligators. But we were successful. We fed all the feed that we got. It was only like, I don't know, $5 or something like that for the feed. And we were able to feed quite a few of them there. And at least we got that shot, just in case we didn't see any others. Don't know if I'm pronouncing this right or not, but it's Mayakaya River State Park. Uh, someone told us that we could get around there. You could actually see some of the gators. We actually pulled up to this area where you've seen all the cars at and the bridges. There was actually one big gigantic gator there off to the side that we could see as we drove by. So we went ahead and pulled over there, came out and took a look at him. There was actually one right there. I would say he was probably, geez, I don't know, 10, 12 feet long. He was pretty good. And if you went to the other side, there was two more over there that kind of looked like logs. But if you kind of looked really close, you could see them kind of move around a little. Here we are at a state park in Florida, checking out alligators. We found some. <laughs> so on the way out they were telling us that there was a bridge you wanted to check out so once you came out of the state park here you made a quick left hand turn you drove down just a short distance you see the first bridge coming up we actually want to stop at the second bridge so once you get up to the second bridge, there's a little pull-off area, and people said you could just pull off the side of the road and park there and check it all out. So once we started walking back towards the center of the bridge, we could see them all laying out there. There must have been 15 or 20 of them all laying along the beach there. Here we are, checking out the alligators. Couldn't get the greatest shots of them there, so I ended up taking the drone up to see what kind of shots I could get of them. There's also some other wildlife on the other side of the road, which had some birds and turtles and things like that. Couldn't get a lot of good shots, but I did get some pretty good shots here of the gators with flying the drone over them. Thanks for checking out this video. It was all about gators. So if you want to go see some gators down in Florida, we found it. You don't have to go to the miniature golf course. You don't have to go to all those other crazy places. You can go to the one stop for free. So remember, subscribe to our channel like that video, ring the notification bell, and we'll see you later, Gator. After a while, crocodile. <laughs>